Some of the most notable people I've styled, I would start with R&B singer, icon Money Long. She's one of the biggest R&B artists right now, known for her hit single, Hours and Hours. I've also styled for Miss Tina Lawson, wearable art gallery, which she has every year. She raises money for underprivileged children and her school, Waco Theater. Some of the struggles that I face is, is hard to say, but getting paid. People really don't wanna pay you for your time and your work and your labor. Um, sometimes when, you, when you're dealing with different celebrities, they, they're, they're getting so many things. They're getting gifts and gifting suites. Brands are sending them free clothing. And when you work every day hard, hours after hours, they expect you to, you know, give them a cut rate or not get paid at all. So how do you keep the lights on? That's one of the struggles that I have really been coming up against my whole career is just fighting for my rate. Some advice that I would have to give some of my up and coming fashion stylists, I will really have to say, don't just focus on the creative vision and the creative aspect of, of being in fashion in the fashion world. I would say you would really need to like just focus on the business side of it as well. That's a big part in your career. You have to make sure your portfolio is together. You have to make sure your clients are together, your relationships you build are healthy, and you're nourishing those relationships. But if you don't have your business side together, everyone around you and who you're working for is gonna capitalize off of that, and you aren't. So you have to find a balance between the two, 50 and 50. 50% business, 50% creativity, and once you find that balance, everything else will fall into place. For your average everyday person who's having a hard time finding the right feel and the right pieces and having a hard time with their outfits and clothing choices, I would say start simple. You know, monochromatic colors, all creams, all black. You can add a pop of color on top of that and start playing with accessories. You have to feel comfortable. You have to feel good. You have to look good and just be good. From my personal experience, celebrities are harder to style than athletes. And, I, and this, this is why I say celebrities, because you never know the energy of the person. Athletes are a little bit laid back and you know, you already know that they're gonna be tall. So you know that going into it. When you style a celebrity, you don't know if they're gonna be able to work with you or they're gonna understand your vision and they may fight you. Sometimes working with celebrities, they fight the vision before they see it, the complete process. So you have to like go against management sometimes and the best friend and the girlfriend and the husband, you know, and sometimes it's just when you get an athlete, there's maybe one or two people there when you're, when you're, when you're styling, but like celebrities, you never know what you're going to get. It's not always fun working with celebrities. People think it is, but you have some good cops, you have some bad cops.